Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am working on a large canvas. This is a 24 by 36. It's one of my favorite sizes. I do prefer the larger size, the larger canvases. And I've got a, a lot of colors here. I, you know, the holidays are really hectic for everyone, I know. And I'm in the mood for something very simple. Uh, but I need to be creative, so I'm going to put some color on the canvas. I'm gonna do a ribbon pour tonight, but instead of layering a cup, I'm gonna put the colors down one at a time. I've seen um, other artists do this. In fact, I just watched, um, when I was doing some research on YouTube, I just watched my friend Britta Clayton. She did a couple of videos um, doing this kind of technique um, two years ago. I think it was, it was a couple of her very first um, videos and they come out quite beautiful. These um, Using these paints that are very thin consistency, they um, leave just barely the tiniest little mound when they drizzled off of the stir stick. This is the kind of consistency that would be good for a Dutch pour, a, a flip cup, swipes, that kind of thing. Uh, but I'm gonna use it for this ribbon pour. So um, I'll walk you through my colors. Um, I have four metallics and then two that have some metallic in them and then I have four non-metallics so uh, this is deco art pewter and my metallics I've mixed just a little bit thicker than my non-metallics because the metallic uh, look comes from mica flakes that are inside the the paints and mica floats to the top so at a thin consistency these metallics could take over and I'm willing to risk it, but um, if I make these just a little bit thicker than the others, it might control that a little bit. So uh, DecoArt Pewter, uh, this is a mix of DecoArt Sapphire and Emerald and that, I, uh, that com comes out into this beautiful dark metallic turquoise. Um, Sarah Mack and Mina Villegas use this and they call it the color Mysterious. This is DecoArt 24 karat gold and this is DecoArt Copper. I don't have much of this, but um, I'll use it strategically. Uh, this is a mix of some table scrapings and some leftover TLPs. I know that there's some sea glass in there, some uh, mermaid and some billabong, uh, but there's also um, a couple of non-metallics in that also. And then this one, uh, I'm not sure what all is in here, uh, but it's a really deep, uh, purple and it has some metallic to it too so I'm sure there's some TLPs in that. Um, this is Amsterdam's grayish blue and this is Amsterdam's greenish blue and just to have a, kind of a bit of a shocking color amongst all of these very soft blues um, I'm adding in some Amsterdam's um, olive green light I'll use that strategically as well. These two colors will be the, the ones that have the most contrast with all of these other colors. And because there's a lot of dark colors, I'm also going to use uh, um, Amsterdam Titanium White. And I have two cups of that in case I need to add some more to lighten this up. And I have lots of this color left over. So uh, I'm gonna use this to cover my sides and edges. And then I'll be layering these colors one at a time in stripes like this and then tilting the canvas back and forth. I don't want a lot of motion other than from side to side. So that is the plan. I'm going to put on some music for you and we'll get started. Upside down 
sunshine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of Here are the wet results and I'm really happy with this. Um, you know, there's no pattern to the, um, to the colors. Um, it's all just kind of random. There's some unexpected motion from, you know, just the, the way that the paints were layered and the way they moved on the canvas, but tilting them side to side still gives it structure um, and, and makes the motion mostly, you know, side to side or top to pop, top, depending on how, how it's, Hung, but I really like this. There's some blending, but the colors stayed true. Very, very happy with this. It uh, kind of soothes my my um, uh, hectic soul at the moment. <laughs> I love that little line of uh, purple that's still peeking through there on the end. The um, uh, pewter spread out a lot, even though it's it's a very bossy color. That grayish blue is almost a lavender color, really pretty uh, and really nice with that green and the copper in there. There's enough white in here to really keep this um, light and airy. I love these uh, sections of unexpected motion in there, really pretty. Um, that section where the pewter and the white mixed is really nice too. And look at how that uh, gold has spread over top of the greenish blue. That's nice too. Very cool. This is going to be very shiny. Very, very shiny. I love it. And that mysterious. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Yum. Yeah, I love this. And halfway through when I was tilting this, I thought, ooh, this would be a great way to do a landscape or a seascape. I might try that next. But I'm very happy with this. Uh, I, I love the, the, the colors that I chose. I love the structure of it. I hope you like it too. Um, let's see how this dries. 
So this is the dry result and you know, it did dry a little bit darker, but I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, I know it's kind of simple with the, you know, the, the motion is going mostly back and forth, but there's a lot of color variation. There's a lot of blending. Um, the, the metallics are sparkling. I haven't even added any varnish to this yet and it's just beautiful. I love this kind of section here. Look at all the way the, the colors blended because they were, so thin, they blended a bit. I got some cells from the um, uh, from the air bubbles popping, so that kind of softens the lines a little bit. Look at that up there, isn't that beautiful? I'm super happy with this. I, I love that the colors are kind of random and not in a specific pattern. And I'm definitely gonna try this as like a seascape or something too. I, this was a lot of fun and I think this is a, perfect way for beginners to learn how the paints move on the canvas, how paints blend. You can try this in different uh, consistencies and see how that changes up. And you could really learn a lot from trying this technique. So I, I definitely recommend that you give it a try. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And go mix up some paints and be fearless.